LastPass is a secure manager that stores all your usernames and passwords in what we call the vault. When you log into a website, LastPass will enter your username and password for you. Let's look at how this can be set up on a workstation for use with a Chrome browser. To get started with your free trial from LastPass.com, go to Get LastPass Free and then enter in your email address. From here, you'll need to choose a password. This is your master password for LastPass. Once you've confirmed your master password, create a reminder which can be emailed to you should you have trouble remembering it, then sign up. Now with your account created, you'll need to add the LastPass extension to Chrome. If you're starting from scratch, you may need to go to the Chrome menu and select More Tools, then Extensions. From here, when you open up the second menu, you'll see the option to open Chrome Web Store at the bottom. Then you can search for the LastPass extension. Once it's selected from the results, you can add it to Chrome. Okay, so now with the LastPass extension added, you'll still want to make a few additional changes in the Chrome settings. Go to Autofill and choose Password Manager. Here, we recommend turning off Offer to Save Passwords and Auto Sign-In, since we'll be using LastPass for these tasks. If you have saved passwords, you can choose to export the passwords. This will save a password file to your computer, which then can be imported into LastPass. Before going back to LastPass.com, you may want to access your Chrome extensions and pin the LastPass extension so it's available when you need it. Now, let's log into your vault. Since your master password is for accessing all your passwords, we don't recommend adding it to your vault. You could choose under advanced options to remember email, but this is also not recommended if the workstation is shared or publicly accessible. In general, you should always remember your master credentials rather than add to LastPass. In fact, you may want this page to be added to a Nevers URL list so a password is never requested to be saved. Now that you've logged in, you can import many passwords at once to LastPass. You can select Chrome, and since you already have the password file, just drag it from your computer and onto the page. Once you import all, the passwords will be placed in the vault. Now you can access password security and see if any of your imported passwords may be at risk or even compromised. If you go under passwords, you can see the passwords we just imported. You may want to select a few and test and verify that they will automatically log you into websites using your stored credentials. To add new credentials to your vault, simply go to a website where your information hasn't been stored yet and log in with your username and password. Once you've logged in, you'll be asked to add the username and password into LastPass. Adding password stores it in the vault. One final way to add credentials is to go into LastPass and under passwords, choose add item. Now you can manually enter and save the credentials, even organize them into folders. Okay, now that you have a LastPass account and know how to use it on your workstation, let's secure your account by adding multi-factor authentication. In fact, we'll start using this rather than your master password to access your vault. Under account settings, you can secure your LastPass account with multi-factor authentication through your mobile device. While there are a number of multi-factor options to choose from, including options beyond a mobile device, we'll be using the LastPass Authenticator. Select Edit for the LastPass MFA and change Enabled to Yes. Then you can update. You'll need to first confirm your master password before you can select the option to enroll. Now we'll be able to set up the mobile app using a unique QR code to pair the Authenticator app with your account. On your mobile device, you'll need to install the LastPass Authenticator app. This can be used for two-factor authentication or for passwordless access to your vault. Once it's installed, open it up and get started first by enabling notifications, which is required. Then you can add account. With access to the camera, scan the QR code. That's it, at least within the LastPass Authenticator. However, back in your browser, you still need to confirm a backup method. This could be a phone number to receive texted security codes should the LastPass Authenticator be inaccessible, or YubiKey can be used with a hardware token. Once that's complete, you can activate 
two-factor authentication. Back in LastPass, you'll want to close out of your confirmation windows. While two-factor authentication has been activated, we're actually going to make this the main authentication method by going under Passwordless Options and enabling Passwordless using the LastPass Authenticator. This means you'll have to use your master password just one last time. Okay, now you're good to go. We can log out and try it out. At the login screen, enter your email address, which can be set to be remembered. LastPass will verify this account allows login with Authenticator. You'll be notified on your mobile device to verify your login request within a minute. Once you have, you'll be logged in to your LastPass vault. Well, that's it for getting started with LastPass. For more assistance, please access our support center to learn more about ways LastPass can keep your passwords secure. <laughs>